Hi, my name is Jeff Pulliam, and you are watching Video Blast number nine, where today we're going to talk very, very briefly about the work breakdown structure and that first tier level of the work breakdown structure. Essentially, when you look at the hierarchical organizational chart of your project work, that first tier that sits below the project title, that is your summary task and if you refer to your textbook in Verzu he speaks to it as well as describing it as a summary task and if you think about it, a summary task is really the large component deliverable that you can break from the project that in and of itself can be built and be delivered separate and distinct from some of the other major component parts so that's what you need to keep in mind when we think about the work breakdown structure and especially that first tier summary task is that it's going to be a large component part of the project that will have a number of work packages and activities that will uh, that it will when decomposed be made of and so that's what we need to consider when we think of the summary task so as you can see in this slide, the summary tasks are identified as that first tier, and they are identified here in yellow. So let's just, as we did with the elephant, let's just take out something that we're familiar with, and let's break out a summary task for it. So let's think of, uh, I don't know, how about uh, the automobile? Okay, we all drive cars, or most of us drive cars, and so we're very familiar with the automobile. We see them every day out on the street. So let's think for a second, what would be some summary tasks of the automobile. Uh, how about the engine? The engine block we can pull out and within the engine in and of itself is a large component piece of the car. Obviously the car cannot run without the engine. So we pull the engine out and in and of itself in the production of an automobile if we look at the automobile as a project the engine is a large summary task that we'll need to develop and to deliver uh, as a part component to the car as a whole. So I don't know, let's think of something else. How about uh, tires? Sure, without tires to roll on, certainly the car's not going anywhere. And so if you think about the tire, there are four of them, and we need to speak to those tires as they are a component part and a, an assembled piece that would be part and parcel of the project of an automobile. So how about a third item, just for, for fun? How about the body of the car? As you all know, and if we're familiar with cars, is that cars have bodies, so they have a front where the engine block sets. They have a back, which they call the trunk, which, of course, we, we put our jumper cables in there and many other parts and pieces that are personal to us in the trunk. So as we know, there's the, the front door and the back door, and if it's a sedan, it's got a four-door. The body is made of many different things, but in and of itself, the body is a large component piece of the automobile. So you're kind of now seeing and getting an impression of the work breakdown structure, especially when we think of the summary task, of that first tier summary task, which are going to be particularly large component parts of your project. So the next slide, I'm going to give you an item, a project, and I want you to hit pause button and I want you to develop three summary tasks then come back hit the play button and let's see how close you were to the three summary tasks that I came up with for this particular project so have some fun with this this project is as follows and it kinda of follows in the spirit of Halloween which is coming up here shortly okay you see your task what you need to do Hit the pause button and come up with three summary tasks. Okay, now that you're back and that you've come up with three summary tasks, here is what I came up with. I came up with the head because obviously in building Frankenstein, I'm going to have to go out there, probably get together with a few funeral homes, maybe speak to some people at the hospital that might be able to grab me a cadaver, uh, and I'm going to have to find a head. So first of all, when I get that head, it's going to be a, obviously that which contains the brain, which is the main component part of this particular project as I'm putting together my Frankenstein. The other piece that I put 
together that I'm going to have to put together as far as bringing Frankenstein together. So I'm going to have to find a torso. And as we know, the torso is that main component piece. I, I mean, similar to the body of an automobile where we've got to attach, obviously, arms and legs and we've got to attach the head and those pieces that will allow my Frankenstein to be mobile. So a torso is definitely something that I'm going to consider in building my Frankenstein. And lastly, it needs limbs, right? So I'm going to have to go out and find a couple legs, a couple arms, and attach those limbs to my torso. So overall, the limbs, even though they're separate component pieces to the limbs, that is arms and legs, Overall, as a general summary task component piece, I'm going to have to go out, identify those parts and pieces that I need that are going to categorize themselves into the component part of limbs and be able to establish and, and work with those pieces. So as you can see, summary tasks are really important. We've got to get to a high enough level where we identify work component parts that are large enough, but that when brought together, assemble and produce that project and the work that is needed to produce those things is part of that project. So remember this as we go forward. This is Vibble number nine speaking to summary tasks. I hope you enjoyed it and Vibble 10 will speak further to the work packages which support those summary tasks. Thanks for listening and watching and I will see you at Vibble number 10.